Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld that is Wanda's Legacy, which is becoming, I don't know, I guess increasingly crowded, but, you know, in a good way. There's you know, some good high quality people in here, I would say. Um, it would still be nice if maybe we got around to um, replacing Squirt's foot. That's still a little bit lacking. Can't do anything about a slothful, unfortunately. But you know what? We still appreciate the amount of work that he puts in over here in our base. So a few injuries we're recovering from, but overall, I think we're okay. Well, M's also a little bit cranky. Did we have any outstanding quests that I'd left over here? No, not really. I don't care about the logging site and ignore that. Blood sender, still a little bit salty that the one, one quest went a little bit wrong when we tried to dismantle the console. I still think that should work. I'm just saying. Oh, that animal hasn't been unpacked yet, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna have to get around to it. And uh, we still have some repairs to do. Oh, right, because we got the retaliation raid that dropped right on our heads while some people were away, which is a little bit scary, which I think is what uh, most of this little debris is still from. Haskins got nothing to do. Really? I guess, yeah, there's no metal to be slagged. And you can't haul. I suppose you can't make an advanced component because we don't have the material. I guess it's fine. I was thinking I could put a level four construct on them and then increase the craft and research to a three to make sure it's ahead. But meh. Maybe we need another research bench. I mean, kind of legit. Do we need another research bench? Materially so expensive. I don't know. I suspect that usually Haskin's going to have stuff to do. Do I want to put Haskin on some, some money-making busy work? Now, that's an interesting question. Which could just be an infinite cape job with no skill limitation. Like, he doesn't need it to train. Although, maybe it's worth continuing to grind out the skill. If there's nothing else for you to do... I don't know. I mean, there normally will be a little something. And normally one of these benches is going to be available. We do have the split schedule just to try to cycle between things. Haskin and Emily. Let me search my research. Emily, Audrey, McKay, Haskin. Emily. McKay. Haskin's on sleep. Audrey's on sleep. Maybe you should be on a day schedule. Maybe there's, are there too many people who do research awake at night? I'm not sure. Let's dusty nomads. Eight people want to work with us. Well, I mean, we don't have the space, although we could whack out some beds pretty quickly. It's not like we've got a shortage of food. Do we need extra people right now? I'm not sure that we do. I'm not sure that we do. I'm not really worried about them turning on us or using up too much food. I mean, they're disposable people I could use maybe as a front line, although if some of them die, then it fails the quest. Um, you know what? I think I'm fine with, with just saying no to that quest. I really don't need them. Yeah. I mean, we have plenty of work to do around the base, but I feel like we've got the people to do it. I mean, right now it's slowed down a little bit because we do have some people... Uh, recovering from some injuries, which is fine. What are we actively researching right now? Right, the recon armor. Par Mostly so we can get the prestige going first. Still considering another research bench. Do we want our baby making? Um, Two minute babies might be a little too much. No relationship with Laura and Squirt. Pause for a sec. Oh, they were on attempt babies. Maybe we get one more? I'll just switch on normal. Whatever happens, happens. All right, we got a mad raccoon way over there. Who's not really gonna do anything until someone wanders outside. And actually it's a little far away to trigger. I might wanna manually go and just get that boop right now. Um, when the raccoon falls asleep, it'll cancel the madness, but...
There we go. Yeah, we'll just let it bleed out. That's fine. Okay. Making blocks. Okay, construction on the front line is looking good. We've still got this. We've got some extra, some turrets set up. Cremation's good. Power situation should be golden here with this. We're not really drawing that much juice. Repairs are happening now. You know, I think for Haskin, I will go ahead and do the thing where I put the construct on a four and then put the craft and the research on a three. If you are sort of idle, but there is maybe some repair work to be done or some walls that can be put up, you can help out with that. I'm digging at uranium ore. That's fine. We're going to need some of it. So we're going to need gold and plasteel at some point. You're digging at some components. I'm not sure that we have either on this map. And we'll do some exploratory tunnel digging pretty soon, I'd say. But I think we're going to really have to look at doing some purchasing. Now, we are doing... So that's rice that's been disabled. Here's psychoid plant. Oh, which hadn't been enabled. Let me go ahead and do that now. Because we are going to increase our flake production to have stuff to sell. Although, obviously, we're going to be making high value goods, which will go and keep the wealth increasing, which seems to be happening pretty quickly on its own anyway. Possibly higher than we'd want, but I guess it's going to be the way that it's going to be right now. It doesn't help that we added, you know, all this stuff over here, but... A lot of it is probably just our regular furniture and stuff. I don't know if you can get a, a breakdown of where your wealth is coming from. Yeah, items and buildings are kind of even. Survival meals, okay, that's fine. I mean, some of it might just be coming from how much extra food we've got. Well, some of it is definitely coming from that. Oh, I forgot. We have a prisoner here, don't we? You're fine. The high animal skill, good shooting, quick sleeper. Yeah. An Ed Edikin. That's all good. At least convert powers up. Oh, the conversion ritual is ready to go. All right, let's start with that. So I was thinking, we still want to do some, um, we want to do another reform. We want to get rid of the um, the xenotype bigotry. And then maybe make some other changes, I don't know. But we want to do that for sure. That was a big change. Good. Try to remember Emily's cooldowns as well. Did we get an ideology point from that? Oh, we did, good. Okay. Yeah, power armor can take a long time. Again, we are, this is our, did we do a tribal start on this one? No, we didn't. That's right. Wow, we, this was naked brutality start. Wow. And we have progressed quite a bit. Okay, so we don't have a tech deficit, which is good. Um, We do have the fast research now too, which is gonna help a lot. Bit of a dinner over there. I don't know. I think should I have a bigger dining table. I mean, for looks, maybe, but I don't know if it's needed for any real reason. My backs are giving birth to more things. That's fine. But it's here. We do have the extra stockpile ready to go as well, which I think I'm fine with. So our animals are still animaling just perfectly groovy. Limits there are fine. I mean, we're kind of in a holding pattern now, but. It's kind of sort of for all good reasons. Oh, oh, hey, there was a quest I was considering. This one. I mean, these are great weapons. But an excellent recon armor is pretty appealing. And the orbital bombardment targeter can do wicked good things when we get raided later. I think I will accept for this. Prisoners there. Prisoners. Which, let me do a quick reset here because someone's going to go and take care of them. There we go. I know we disturbed some people's sleeps, but that's okay. Right, I need 
yet. We can't do any prisoner interaction. Oh, that's not true. Well, so we can. Hold them for 11 days. We can, but we shouldn't. Should I build some extra beds in here? Now, if we get an, uh, an, a real raid here, we can just slap down some sleep spots for a little bit. I don't want to build more beds than I have to. Um, Let's maybe keep everyone a little closer to home. We tag everyone on a work behavior, oh, except actually the child. And let's redefine the work zone. To just make sure people aren't too close to the edge of the map for any reason. Don't go too close to the edge. Mostly, I think it's going to be those mining jobs that would cause problems right now. Yeah, we still haven't um, ripped open these graves to cremate them, but I don't think there's any real reason to do it. Lots of idlers. Increase the block count. Not really. I don't want more blocks around. Feels bad, but I guess it's fine. I got burn apparel jobs. Interesting. We got some awful pants here. I guess we don't have a low quality burn apparel. It's burning things that have, uh, this is for tainted and this is for bio coated and this is for low hit points. But we don't have anything for low quality because they don't sell for much, but they do sell. Although it can be part of a wealth management strategy. Oh, a zoot right now is not a good idea. Lost some power, but that's fine. I thought these guys had paralytic abasia. Well, they have blood rot. Um, okay. So yeah, that's gonna be burning through some of our medicine. That part should be okay. Because yeah, we're we're pretty decent on that. We do have our drug cabinet here set to do a job, keeping that ready. Gross has got confusion. Oh, that's fine. That's one of our prisoners. Yeah, I don't care about that one bit. Looking forward to another Devil's Strand Harvest. Um, have we talked about doing a, a greenhouse and what we might do? We do actually have more farmable area over here. What would I want it to be? If anything, it might just be more Devil's Strand. Ooh, no one's going and eating that. Interesting, because there was nutrition in the pen. And some of you are eating that. Yeah, I don't know what the animals uh, choose to prioritize. We don't want to chop down the anima tree. Um, it was, what, 15 hours? Oh, there's actually no, no hint as to when it will be. Okay, a prison break is actually super duper annoying right now. Because I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to kill you. Really, some of you are going to spray fire at me. That how it's going to go. Uh, melee attack. Yeah, it has can just stay back so you don't sword people. Actually, squirt. You too. No, no, no. Wrong button. H for melee attack. I guess I gotta everyone drop their guns. Just to make sure they don't do it. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna get raided. We don't want these prisoners because they have blood rot, so I guess we're gonna have to execute them. 
but they should count as guilty. Do these count as guests, which is odd. I have to recapture you. Blood rot. Consider guilty. Blood rot. This is the prisoner I had before, so we don't execute you. We do execute you. Confirm. Blood rot. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, lowered relations with the Fallen Dominion by five, but still not the end of the world. Okay. So I guess we're not going to get raided. So I can go and unrestrict people. So we can go back to mining that uranium. Okay, that's fine. I thought one of my people had died. I was about to say, and some of my people are injured. And then I heard that sound. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Um, are doctors doing doctoring? Huntsman? I'm going to get... Okay. And to Haskin. Where's McKay? McKay's okay, not in bed, are they? Oh, no, they're down there. Assuming find me out. Uh, prioritize tending over here. Then you can eat. Okay. Need the, uh... We need to run the non-lethal weapons mod. So we can rest people better. McKay, you're in a great mood? Good. You're gonna do some cremating, buddy. Corpses out of there. Uh, Emily's powers are still in cooldown, which makes sense. How's the waste? Okay, we're fine. We have, we have none. Oh, she got an infection. Um, I'm not gonna worry about. I mean, we could do an amputation, but I suspect yeah, they're gonna be fine. They're lying in bed. They're okay. If need be, I could turn this room into a prisoner tag room and move people. But I don't think it's going to be required. And I wouldn't necessarily care too much if they died, although I suppose... I don't know if we would get the innocent prisoner died in that case. We might, which would be vaguely annoying. Do I want to queue up some random construction or something? Not really. We've got lots of wood in storage. Lots of components. Um, yeah. I just, I keep seeing Haskin being idle. I'm like, oh, we should do something, but... We don't need more weapons. Um, black vests are in there. You do have the hit, the hit point limiter. Same thing with the helmet. I mean, we don't have a quality thing, but that's okay. Shit. Maybe I'll just do this. Oh, Haskins asleep now. You can make capes. Uh, they take a lot of time to do for the material. So it's just sort of slow, busy work that doesn't actually consume a lot of our material. And you are set to not use our valuable stuff, which is good. Yeah, as we end up with excess Devil Strand, what we'll be looking for is we'll open up Devil Strand for more of these other recipes here. I, think, I guess the cape was at the top because here because we actually had a, um, a mission to make a bunch. I can get rid of that. Is this not doing anything anymore? Uranium is being delivered. Lots of wood ready to go. Uh, maybe I just make more bots. You know? If we've got time for our crafter. Let's, um, let's add in those Militors. Haskin can control four more. I don't know. I don't usually use them, but maybe, maybe it's time. Smithing comes before tailoring, so Haskin should go and do these things. I guess we need that power on though. Or, hold on. Let me cancel this. Keep the power off these things. 
what if we call down a mech raid on us? That I think sounds okay. Now I think they're guaranteed to attack us, so I don't think we need um, mortars set up or anything like that. Although speaking of, it might be time to at least plan to get some mortars built. And just around the corner here, I'm gonna put in the shelf. Or high explosive shells. I guess I'll do a copy. Uh, here. Put some walls here to contain explosions if anything weird happens. I don't know if a roof matters on that. Okay, you have a roof built already. That's good. So you clear all uh, shell. We'll keep the EMPs, and this can be critical and critical. High explosives and EMPs, two of the things I might use. Can't set the uh, storage on these yet. That's okay. And yeah, we probably don't have the parts. Uh, no, we do, actually. Okay, this one doesn't have a barrel. Oh, that's fine. The others are okay. Well, that'll give us a little bit of busy work. And where do we make mortar shells? Here? High explosive shells, EMP shells, do until X, do until X. 50 of them and 25 of those. So that's two full stacks of high explosive shells, one stack of EMP shells. That'll also start to consume more chem fuel. Yeah, so that's all gonna be good busy work for that. In fact, I'm gonna change this job back to just training capes, because this will actually keep Haskin fairly busy. Possibly cancel an unfinished one, but I don't think I will. Medical emergency on Dilish. Stream infection. But no, the immunity's ahead, so you're fine. Okay. Good and groovy. Back to some idleness, which is, I guess, gonna have to be fine. Well, Haskin, yeah, is gonna be busy making the shells, and people are gonna work the refinery. Oh, negative power right now. Interesting. I mean, no wind, no solar. Makes sense. We only have the one battery. So that's not going to last very long. Rather than... Um, which one of these is the closest? None of these, really. That one's more... Is the closest to a wall, which I guess is something. I wonder if we build another geothermal. Or at least what we'll do is we'll make prep for it. Um, so I'm going to forbid the actual construction of this. Do this, uh, make sure there is no roof on any of it. Technically, it doesn't need to be all of it, but what the hell, right? Although, it, I guess it means things could drop inside of it, but if they want to drop inside of that and give me time to react to whatever might happen, that's not the end of the world. Do that. Still wondering about a redundant power connection, but... This one would be pretty exposed the whole way, so I'm not sure how much we would gain from it. So we'll just do that. So we're setting up all the construction except for the geothermal generator itself. Double research. Oh, power armor is coming soon. That's going to keep us real busy. We do have smelt jobs over here, and this is turned on. Although there's nothing. I, I could open up smelting for certain classes of things, but no. Do I want to start gifting things? Actually, maybe that's a nice thing to do with all these weapons. Hang on. Okay, little patches of leather I don't care about. Um, I don't know who we're going to send it to. No, if we send it to the industrial people, they definitely don't have any anti-drug policy. So we'll pack those in there. And... 
ton of weapons, including some good ones, actually. There's some real value in this. do that i don't know how the goodwill to like value translates but we'll see start that getting that loaded in which is going to keep most people busy haskin can't load but otherwise everyone else can and haskin probably does have things to do now what with more construction um steel is going to start to go down fairly quickly although right now it's all right but we do have still we still have more steel on the map we could also just let some smelting get started but let's go ahead and flag that yeah we're going to start using some of those mortar shells so more herbal medicine ready to go. It would be nice to limit this to like the old school shelf with only one tile. So some of it could be fridged, but the, the spoiling time on, um, on herbal meds is really low. Are you making a simple meal, really? I guess we don't have any meat. We could start doing some culling here again, because I don't think either of these groups has anything going on. That is indeed the case. Let's keep one adult male. And we can keep a pretty generous number for now. Four non-pregnant females? Hell, two non-pregnant females is probably fine. Two non-pregnant females for the Ibexes. And I actually might want to just keep the horse numbers going up and up and up, and then do a call on the Ibexes, and then keep a very generous number of horses around for continuous breeding. It's not going to be as um, as efficient food-wise, but it's fine. Especially with the hay supplement that we've got going on. Oh, there's a good sculpture there. I don't know, you don't think it's extremely impressive. That matters less. Well, very impressive. We're going to have to start decorating um, these throne rooms and stuff more. Let me put it in your bedroom first. And actually, speaking of, let's get you an end table. And a dresser. And let's make sure they're both at least excellent. Which will contribute a lot to that room being great. Start making marble furniture, but no. I'll just keep going with wood for now. That's going to be fine. Okay, I'm working on our go juice. Things loaded. Oh, there we go. So... There's our friendly neighbor there, right? The purple? Um, yeah. I mean, right now, they don't care for us that much. Plus 33. This will only bring us to neutral. It's a long way towards making them an ally. Eh. All right, we'll do it anyway. All right, to a whole plus six. Well, it said it was going to be plus 33, but it went from minus 35 to 6, so it's a little deceptive. Recon armor is done. Do I call in the bots? That's I, I forgot that I talked about that. I think the answer has to be yes, but I think that'll be next episode because I just looked at the timer and it's a good place to put in a cut. So yeah, we'll go ahead and call in some bots for Haskin because just I just got reminded of like, right, we could research some uh, mech tech. Maybe what I'll do is I'll make sure we're researching some fairly quick things just to quickly cycle stuff. Um, advanced lights, auto doors, hydroponics, late procedures. Well, let's get prosthetics because presumably it leads to biotech. I don't know, but it's fast and that's what's important. Okay, so we'll put a cut in here. Next episode, let's call in a mech threat and see what we can do with that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.